Love's a Bitch in Inuritu's directorial debut, Amores Peros. <laughs> Three lives are weaved together early on in this film through a car accident uh, and this shows exactly how intense Amores Peros can be. The physical on-screen tragedy of this aforementioned car accident and the constant theme of man and dog which goes through quite a violent and eyebrow raising route really help to bolster this story and bring home the lives of these people. Love's a Bitch is a superbly apt title. It is very much a character study and the characters love their wrongdoing and they love self-obsession. Now, the crux of any story, in my opinion, is to get the viewer to enjoy and to love certain characters, maybe not all of them, but certain characters. And the dogs and the relationship between each of these characters and their dogs is the way the humanity is brought out in them. This is where we see the true nature of these people. And it, as a thematic tool, it is fantastic. I really, really enjoyed it. Um, the shots of this of the town and the people on the streets it really you can feel the heat you can feel the vibe of the town it employs a shaky camera style which is juxtaposed with the likes of what we're used to with birdman and the revenant the ghost-like movement and this gives a real feeling of uh of actuality that you're in the gang that you're hanging on these guys shoulders in a very different flavor to the revenant as i said in my review this is very much on the street feeling the heat and the street food, all that charm of the city. The one little issue that I had with the film, which is going to contradict what I've just said in some respects, is it has a real philosophical angle to it, which traditionally I would really love. I, I adore that type of theme in a movie, but it didn't quite work for me given the setting. And at times it felt like I was watching a fairy tale, which really unplugged me. Now, uh, it's a very critical comment. Uh, I did really enjoy the film, I loved it, but it took me out ever so, so slightly and I don't really want to, um, I don't really want to home in on any specific character because there are some character arcs which result in a revelation and you need to witness that as a viewer to enjoy it. I'm not gonna spoil it for you, but, but little philosophical elements took me out uh, however, it is a tiny microcosm of a comment to make in what is a fantastic movie. So in a nutshell, Amores Peros is the top dog. <laughs>